Well, new at 11 right now, there are about 200,000 people living in South Fulton County with just one hospital or excuse me, with no hospital, not one hospital in that area. Now, adding to that concern is now the closure of a major urgent care center set to shut its doors next month. Well, tonight, 11 Alive's Don White is in East Point with what one city councilman is doing about it. That building used to house Wellstar AMC South Hospital until it closed last year. Now Wellstar is announcing it's closing the urgent care facility operating on that site that has an East Point councilman taking action. Wellstar's announcement this week to close its urgent care location in East Point blindsided many residents and the city council. For them not to come and let the council know it's egregious because we're here and we want to work with them to provide health care to the people of East Point. East Point Councilman Joshua Butler IV says one of his constituents' husband died on his way to the nearest emergency room at Grady Hospital, and that's something he hopes to prevent in the future. On Monday's agenda, I propose that we do a moratorium, which prevents and blocks any rezoning of this property that it must be maintained as a hospital. Butler says the Georgia legislature already approved a bill allowing East Point and the city of South Fulton to form their own hospital authority. With that, we're able to bring funding so that we can solve financial problems and bring health care back to the people of East Point. I've been working in health care for uh, uh, almost two decades. I South Fulton Councilwoman Carmelita Gums is working on the proposed South County Hospital Authority. We we have 108,000 residents here in the city of South Fulton, and it's important for us to have a hospital and access to quality health care. The city of South Fulton Council is expected to vote on whether to give the hospital authority the green light in January. A Wellstar spokesperson sent 11 Alive a statement saying it plans to transition its urgent care services to the Southside Medical Center on January 12th. And he's point on White's 11 Alive News.